So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Gets in. Well, no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. And that's something you almost never see nowadays. When you fake it, you're at the 15-yard line on a PAT as opposed to just going for it from the two. I'm sorry. I know they got it, and congratulations to them. But it's just not a good play. I mean, the, the risk-reward is really off the charts. Not in your favor. Run your offense out there. Put it on the two-yard line if you want to go for two. But I'll be darned. They ended up getting that one, didn't they? Carolina getting set to take the field. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. Here's second and seven now from the 28. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. Off to Thomas on the left side. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. His throw incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. On second down, Bridgewater again. And his throw's going to be incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. And again, it's Bridgewater. Open man is Robbie Anderson. And they do finally get him, but he makes it all the way to the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Still all sorts of time left in this game, and you'd like to be able to say, take it one play at a time. But the truth is, they're probably going to have to hit on a few big plays in the passing game to close this gap, and that's a good start right there. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. They'll throw again, Bridgewater. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. It's second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. Another try after the first down sack. Bridgewater, that is caught at the seven-yard line. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Robbie Anderson on the touchdown pass from Teddy Bridgewater. And the Panthers are able to cut into this lead. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Sly on for the extra point. That's up and good. It's 22-14. So that drive in total eight plays. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Returning it, Justice Hill. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Lamar Jackson marching back onto the field. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. 
gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Oh, looking for Andrews. He's got a man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a gain of 35. Well, that certainly changes things. Yeah, I think the thought process is they take this lead into the locker room, run something simple here and run the clock out. Instead, they get the big play. Now they have a chance to increase what they've done in the first half. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now it's Jackson. Over the middle complete. It's Andrews. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range, down just shy of the 20. Yards. That's another Baltimore first down. First and 10 at the 21-yard line. So we're at halftime here in the Inner Harbor with the hometown Ravens on top. So he comes out of nowhere. He's got this handlebar mustache, greasy hair. And he says, would you rather eat a jar of mayonnaise or three sticks of butter? And I look, well, never mind. Third quarter action now. Not too many breaks ahead, according to the radar. More snow on the horizon as we are back underway in half number two. Cooper on the return. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Cooper on the return. The Panthers take over first and 10. After Robbie Anderson making his way back onto the field. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once over 100 yards, but hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. To Christian McCaffrey. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. On second down, McCaffrey. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys to continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Calais Campbell finding his way home for the sack. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big. But sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, you know, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? typically a blitz and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen now that allows your blitzers to get there now on is the punter charlton now as he's able to get this one away and he couldn't get it to check up that kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback the ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half they were able to get the ball back here didn't surrender any points now they'll look to add to that lead and how about the boost the defense gave them going right out on the field shutting them down not giving up any points and turning the ball back over they want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. 39 yards there. A big one. Well, you had all halftime to think about what you wanted to do to start the second half. They came out with a big one. Does that not beg the question? 
What was happening in the other locker room at halftime? Was that the one play they didn't cover as a possibility? Because they just gave up a big, big game. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. To throw is Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Panthers 33 yard line. To throw again on second down. Jackson. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. He was covered by Trey Boston. Here's Jackson to throw. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. Yitor Gross Matos, the rookie. That's why they drafted him, getting in there and making the play defensively. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to scan the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, yeah. meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them? They were on him in a hurry. Here's Justin Tucker now for the Raven field goal try. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice, an ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this score will stay right where it is. The Carolina.